Bible Gateway is an online Bible software with over 85 books available for free, 70 of which are Bibles. It also has a paid version which gives you access to about 30 additional books. The free version has lots of ads, so I recommend downloading an ad blocking extension. To search for a Bible reference or a word or phrase, you need to first select a Bible from the drop down on the right. You can also search for a Bible reference from the Bible book list drop down underneath the main search bar. There is also an advanced search if you go to the Read Bible tab. The advanced search lets you search through up to five Bibles at a time, and you can also look up up to five references at a time. Once you look up a verse on the main screen, you can compare up to five Bibles by clicking on the double page icon under the search bar. You can change the versions by clicking on their names and selecting from the list. Unfortunately, none of the free Bibles have tagging, so you can't see the Greek or Hebrew behind an English word. There is some kind of tagged interlinear Bible if you buy a monthly subscription, but I don't know how good it is. Many of the Bibles have an audio version, which can be heard by clicking the speaker icon next to the parallel button. Unfortunately, there isn't a great way to read along with the audio. If you click the gear icon, you can show or hide verse numbers, cross references, and a few other things for the Bibles you have open. To the right of the Bible, there is a collapsible tab where you can look up things relating to your current verse. Any resources with a blue plus under them are only available if you buy their monthly subscription. I'll cover the main things I like to use in this collapsible tab section. If you click on the encyclopedias or dictionaries tabs, you will see a list of books that have information about your current chapter. The number of entries below each book is the amount of definitions that book has relating to your current chapter. The commentaries tab shows all the commentaries that have something about your current chapter. The number of entries below each commentary is the amount of sections or verses that commentary has about your current chapter. If you really like a certain commentary or dictionary, you can open it and click the pin icon on the right. This will add it to the pinned resources tab. The maps tab is only for paid subscribers. Also, the Hebrew slash Greek tab, which is an interlinear Bible, is only for subscribers. The Your Content tab is for creating verse notes. You don't need a subscription to use it, but you do need to create a free account with an email and password. To create a note, you have to select a verse and click the pen icon. Once you've created your note, there will be a pen icon on that verse, which you can click to open your note. You can also highlight a section by selecting it and clicking a color. There are several Greek and Hebrew Bibles, but they are not tagged, so there is no way to see morphology or other information about them. There are no lexicons or Greek and Hebrew courses in the software either. There is also no timelines available. It does have a free Bible reading plan, which is located under the Read the Bible tab on the left.